everyone today we will study about the jejunum and ileum of the small intestine this is the specimen of jejunum and ileum of the small intestine the small intestine is about 6 meter in length and it consists of three parts the first part is the duodenum the second part is jejunum and the third part is the ileum the small intestine is about 6 meter means 28 feet and out of the 28 feet the first 8 feet is of the duodenum the next remaining 20 feet are of the jejunum and the ileum so the jejunum is shorter than the ileum jejunum is about 8 feet long and the remaining 12 feet is of the ileum so this is the specimen of jejunum and the ileum the duodenum is the fixed part of the small intestine and the jejunum and ileum are the mobile parts of the small intestine in this structure you can clearly see that this that this gray color part or the gray or the gray colored structure is the lumen of the jejunum and the ileum and this yellow part this yellow color structure is of the mesentery mesentery means mesentery is the fold of the peritoneum the mesentery is about 15 cm in length and this 15 cm long structure have suspended the 20 feet long lumen of jejunum and the ileum so that is why we can see these folds have been formed these folds these folds have been formed because the 20 feet mesentery has suspended sorry the 15 cm mesentery has suspended the 20 feet long lumen of the jejunum and the ileum so in this specimen we have to identify that which part is the jejunum and which part of the lumen is of the uh, ileum and in this specimen we have cut the duodenal part so the first difference between the jejunum and the ileum is the uh, the lumen of the jejunum is always much thicker because the mucosal layer in the jejunum and the muscular layer of the jejunum is thicker then the mucosal and the muscular layer of the ileum and you can clearly see that this the mucosal layer of the ileum and the muscular layer of the ileum is thinner than the mucosal and the muscular layer of the jejunum so jejunum is thicker than the ileum and the second difference between the jejunum and the ileum is if we cut the uh, the lumen of jejunum and ileum in a transverse section then we can see some circular folds and these circular folds are known as plica circularis and these circular folds are large in number in the jejunal part and they are less in number in the ileum part and that is another reason why the lumen of jejunum is thicker than that of the ileum now the third difference between the jejunum and the ileum is in the mesentery if we see the mesentery then we can see some lymph nodes these lymph nodes are known as the payer's patches and the payer's patches are more in amount in the ileum part and they are less in amount in the jejunal part means the lymph nodes are large in number in the ileum part in ileum they are present in groups while in jejunum they are present in solitude just one or two lymph nodes are present in the jejunum and they are present in groups in the ileum now the fourth difference between the jejunum and the ileum is if we see the mesentery the most important content of the mesentery is fat so the fat in mesentery is less in amount in the jejunum part and that is more in amount in the ileum part so the next difference is the arterial arcades these are the arterial arcades you can clearly see these are the arterial arcades the jejunum and the ileum of the small intestine they are supplied by the superior mesentic artery this is the superior mesentic artery it supplies the jejunum and the ileum and some branches of the superior mesentic artery they are forming this arterial arcades these arcades are arc in shape so their name is arterial arcades and from these arterial arcades small uh, some small 
longitudinal blood vessels are also for forming these are the small longitudinal blood vessels they are forming from these arterial arcades and these small longitudinal blood vessels they are supplying blood to the lumen of the jejunum and the ileum so if we put the mesentery of the jejunum into the sunlight we can clearly see these arterial arcades and because of the presence of less amount of fat so these arterial arcades are clearly visible but if we put the lumen of the ileum into the sunlight then these arterial arcades are not clearly visible because of presence of large amount of fat and the difference between the arterial arcades in both the part is in ileum the arterial arcades are smaller in shape but larger in amount and the longitudinal blood vessels that are forming from these arterial arcades they are also smaller in length in the part of the ileum and they are not clearly visible because of the because of the presence of large amount of fat while the arterial arcades of the jejunum they are larger in shape we can see these arterial arcades they are larger in shape in the part of the jejunum and the blood vessels or the longitudinal blood vessels forming from the arterial arcades are also longer in shape and fewer in number arterial arcades in jejunum are larger in shape and fewer in number than that of the ileum the next difference is presence of villi if we cut the lumen of the small intestine the lumen of the jejunum and the ileum we can find the villi villi are the structures which absorb the nutrients and these villi they are larger in number in the lumen of the jejunum and they are less in number in the lumen of the ileum the last difference between the jejunum and the ileum is if we the in in terms of in terms of location the jejunum is present in upper left part of the intestinal area and the ileum is present in the lower right part of the intestinal area so the this part this is the root of the mesentery this root of the mesentery it comes it is it is present in a diagonal manner in our abdomen and one more thing i forgot to uh, tell you that this is the root of the mesentery this is the root of the mesentery and this is the free end of the mesentery the free end of the mesentery has suspended the lumen of the jejunum and the ileum so in terms of location the jejunum is present in upper left part of our abdomen and the ileum is present in the lower right side of our intestinal area or the abdomen so this mesentery is present in a diagonal manner in our abdomen and while going from upper left to the lower right the mesentery crosses some structures from above downwards these structures are present the first structure that is crossed by the mesentery is the third part of the duodenum and below to it it crosses the right uh, the sorry the abdominal aorta and after it it crosses the inferior vena cava the right gonadal vessels after it it crosses the right ureter then right psoas major right genital femoral nerve right sacroiliac joint so these are the structures that is crossed by the root of the mesentery from above downwards from left to right so this is all about the difference between the jejunum and the ileum thank you so much